Picture a time when empires were just beginning to form, around 3000 BC in the land we now know as Iraq. This is where the Sumerian civilization flourished. The Sumerians were not just pioneers in writing and agriculture but also in warfare. Among their groundbreaking inventions was the two-wheeled chariot. These early chariots were simple yet effective, crafted mostly from wood and leather. They were drawn by onagers, or wild donkeys, an animal native to the region. The chariots provided a mobile platform for archers, transforming them into swift deadly forces on the battlefield. The introduction of these chariots was a game-changer. It gave the Sumerians a strategic edge, allowing them to strike quickly and retreat, causing chaos in enemy ranks. This was a significant step forward in the art of warfare, showing a level of sophistication in strategy and technology. The Sumerians were the first to harness the power of animal-drawn vehicles in warfare, setting the stage for the evolution of chariots. From their humble beginnings in Sumer, two-wheeled chariots evolved and spread across other civilizations. Over time, they became lighter, more efficient, and increasingly versatile, reflecting the genius of human ingenuity. The Sumerians initially used these vehicles for transport and ceremonial purposes. However, as they were adopted by other civilizations, their role expanded and their design refined. The Egyptians, for instance, are credited with the development of the spoked wheel, a significant innovation that drastically reduced the chariot's weight and increased its speed. This gave the Egyptians a tactical edge on the battlefield, allowing for swift and effective attacks. Yet even as the Egyptians were mastering the spoked wheel, the Hittites, a civilization from ancient Anatolia, were introducing another key innovation, the usage of horses. Prior to this, donkeys or onagers were commonly used, but the greater strength and speed of horses made them a more effective choice. This not only increased the chariot's speed, but also its pulling power, enabling it to carry more weight, such as additional soldiers or supplies. As these innovations spread, so too did the tactical role of the chariot. In the hands of the Greeks and Romans, the two-wheeled chariot became a formidable tool of warfare. Often used as platforms for archers, they could deliver a rain of arrows on the enemy while remaining mobile and difficult to target. Additionally, they were used to break enemy lines, creating chaos and confusion in their ranks. But the chariot was not just a weapon of war. It was a symbol of power and prestige, often depicted in art and literature. The charioteers were celebrated heroes, their exploits immortalized in epic poems and grand murals. These advancements in chariot design and usage transformed them from simple transport vehicles into formidable tools of warfare. Yet they were more than just machines of war. They were a testament to human innovation and adaptability, a symbol of the indomitable human spirit that strives to improve to adapt and to overcome. The two-wheeled chariots didn't just revolutionize warfare, they left a lasting impact on our society and culture. These chariots, first introduced in the ancient Sumerian Empire, became symbols of power, speed, and technological innovation. They were depicted in art and literature, often associated with gods and heroes embodying the virtues of courage, determination, and mastery over nature. The image of the chariot, the charioteer, and the galloping horses came to represent the triumph of human will over adversities. In ancient Greek mythology, for example, the sun god Helios was often portrayed riding a golden chariot across the sky, symbolizing the passage of time and the cycle of life and death. But the significance of two-wheeled chariots extends beyond symbolism. They marked a pivotal moment in the evolution of transportation and warfare. Chariots were one of the earliest forms of wheeled vehicles and their design principles. A lightweight frame, two wheels for balance and maneuverability, and the harnessing of animal power laid the groundwork for subsequent innovations in transportation. Fast forward to the industrial age, these principles found their way into the design of bicycles, motorcycles, and eventually, cars. The horse-drawn chariot was replaced by the horse-powered engine, but the two-wheeled design persisted. Many sports cars today, with their sleek and aerodynamic designs, can be seen as the modern-day equivalents of the ancient chariots, embodying the same ideals of speed, power, and technological prowess. Two-wheeled chariots have also made their mark on popular culture. They're featured in movies, books, and video games, often used to create a sense of excitement and adventure. They serve as a reminder of our past, a symbol of our ongoing fascination with speed, and a testament to our ability to innovate and adapt. From the dusty plains of ancient Sumer to the sleek designs of modern cars, the legacy of the two-wheeled chariots continues to influence our world today. 
From the battlefield to the racetrack, from mythology to popular culture, the echoes of these ancient vehicles resonate in our collective consciousness, shaping our understanding of technology, transportation, and the human spirit.